Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. Today I'm doing an overview of a laptop I mentioned in another video that I've had now for a couple of weeks that I picked up for a very specific piece I wanted to review on it but I thought I'd also just go over and review the system itself. Uh, just uh, This is a Dell Inspiron 11. It has an 11.6 inch touchscreen. It's a 1366 by 720 Eight. Um, it has, and this is what I really wanted to review on the system, an Intel Core M3 7Y30 processor. <clears throat> now I've done a couple generations of Atoms, Celerons, a Pentium, Core i3, Core i7s, um, but I have not reviewed any laptop with this Core M3 processor. And so that's why I bought this laptop. I'll go over that here in a minute. It had a 500 gigabyte hard drive in it. Now, <clears throat> the I do not understand why they include spinning drives on on laptops anymore. I don't see any purpose to having a 500 gig hard drive on this, um, a flash drive of some kind, whether it be an M.2 or you know a two uh, two and a half inch. Uh, format SSD is really should be the standard for these laptops um, even if they're just 120 gig 256 gig something like that no no need for a 500 gig hard drive 4 gigs of memory and now I have opened it up and that is not expandable it has obviously integrated uh, Intel HD graphics has Windows 10 um, it does have wireless N it does not have AC wireless, which was actually a disappointment. I thought it would, and it does not. Bluetooth, uh, two cell battery. I wish it was the three cell battery. Uh, media card reader, HDMI, three, uh, USB 3.0, and the audio, which is actually pretty decent. Now, again, I'll go over that here in a minute. The exact model number on this is in I3179 gray. So this is a gray one, obviously, because it's gray. So let me go, let's go around the outside of it here. So this is one of those laptops that um, folds all the way back because it has a touch screen and you can use it like a tablet, I guess. Um, I've done that a few times, but I don't like doing that. Now, just along the front edge, I'll just start there. Uh, there's nothing there. There's just a little bit of a gap here to help you open it. It is not really openable with one hand you do need two hands it's not that easy to open actually compared to some of my other laptops come around to the right hand side this is your power button here and I apologize it's dark I don't have any more light in here but this is the power button and this is a volume rocker now I appreciate the inclusion of a physical volume rocker on the system that's actually something I wish more laptops would have but the they're too sensitive buttons they're way too easy to push especially the power button I find myself just brushing this and turning the computer on and off by accident. So I don't I don't mind the button being here. It would be nice if it looks like they had some room up here if they'd moved up a little bit uh, and pulled away from this corner, but also just had buttons that required just a little bit more pressure um, to push so you didn't push it so easily by accident. You have your headphone microphone jack, two USB 2.0 ports, Kensington lock. Along the back here you just have um, your hinges and this is the left side of the laptop where you have your charging port there on the left hand side HDMI USB 3 and a micro SD slot so it just has a micro it doesn't uh, take full um, SD cards <clears throat> to me now let's go ahead and get this opened up and bear with me a second because like I said it does require two hands there good power this on now, on this system, uh, overall build quality, I say, is probably a 6 out of 10. Um, it's, it, I, I think my $160 Lenovo feels better built, feels higher quality, has a key, better keyboard. The touchpad, the, even though this is a multi-touch, you can scroll and zoom and all that with this touchpad. Uh, two finger tap for right click and things like that. Um, so it has a lot more features than the uh, Lenovo. 
its accuracy is pretty poor. And so the little, well, even though it has a more basic touchpad, a smaller touchpad, it's better because it works better. Um, what it does, it does better, even though it does less. Uh, the screen on this, because it's a touchscreen, very reflective, uh, which I don't like very reflective screens. I also, I'm not really sold on a touchscreen unless it's a dedicated tablet. Um, this is a 360 hinge, what they like to call 360 hinge, so it folds all the way back. Let's go ahead and do that. And the problem I have with that, and I'm kind of going over a lot of negatives here, is this. And I don't know if this is just my model, or if they're all like this, but it doesn't fold all the way open. So if you're using this like a tablet and you're holding this in your hand the whole time you're touching the screen, you're getting that. And it doesn't take much pressure to do that if you're not hitting it hard enough, but then it woggles. So that's my biggest complaint with this type of hinge uh, or this style of laptop is it just, it doesn't really do the whole laptop thing great and it doesn't do the whole tablet thing great. So it just kind of is in between the two. Keyboard is just okay. Like I said, the one on the Lenovo is a better keyboard. Um, and the biggest reason why I'm kind of harping on build quality on this is this laptop, if you're to go out and buy it today, is almost $500. Um, it's not an inexpensive computer. And so I would have expected for the money, slightly better build quality because they use this exact same case and, and touchpad and everything on their $200 laptops. So you're not getting... Um, bit more build quality for your money. It's also missing wireless AC and that makes a huge difference in speed. Um, I definitely would recommend if you're going out and buying a system today to get one that um, has AC wireless or, or figure to upgrade because it definitely makes a difference in speed and reliability in a home. Especially if you live somewhere where it's really congested. Um, I wouldn't expect to spend a lot of time typing on this keyboard, um, personally, but that's, I, it's just, it's just kind of soft and mushy and doesn't give much feedback. Um, so I'm just, I'm just not a fan. And a touchpad, um, you're better off with a, an external mouse than this touchpad. This touchpad drives me crazy trying to scroll through menus and things like that. But, and I'll cover this in another video, what really makes this computer special is that processor. Uh, going over it again, it's a Core M3 7Y30. So that's the seventh generation of the Core M3. Or it's based off of seventh gen um, architecture, I should say. And so, it used to be that they had the Atom processors, which are meant for amazing battery life. And they have the Core i processors, which are meant for performance. And while you can get decent battery life out of a Core i processor, you're not going to get great battery life. And you're not going to get great performance out of a Atom processor. And so supposedly, this processor is something to bridge the gap between the two. And I know there's a Celeron and there's a process, uh, a Pentium, but those are really just neuter versions of other chips. This is kind of meant to replace those on a performance and battery life level. So it's supposed to deliver similar battery life um, to an Atom processor or a, a Celeron processor, but give you far superior performance to that system. So I'm going to be doing some benchmarking. You can see I've already installed benchmarking and, and some games and things on here. So we'll definitely cover that in another video. But this is just an overview of the system. I give it currently a 5 or 6 out of 10 as far as its build quality and its overall design. I don't think it's the prettiest system. <clears throat> I wanted a white one. Uh, but they were all out of stock. Um, I did buy this uh, on eBay, and uh, the buyer I bought it from did not have any white ones. So, anyways, we'll go ahead and go uh, into uh, the performance in another video. So watch out for that in about a week or so. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.